If you were expecting Sony to release a new line of cinema cameras anytime soon, you may be sorely mistaken. Hello everyone, my name is Josh Diaz. I'm a director of photography from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and in this video we're going to be talking about Sony's recent announcement relating to their cinema line of cameras, and that is that Sony will support essentially all of their cinema cameras at least until 2026 with new features introduced by firmware updates. That's right, on Wednesday, November 6th, Sony Cine announced its new firmware roadmap, which is likely its most comprehensive suite of updates the camera brand has ever released for its cinema cameras. Through this roadmap, it announced firmware updates and new features for essentially all of its Sony Cine cameras, including the Sony Venice 2, Burano, FX6, FX3, and FX30, the only exceptions being the FX9 and the FR7, which is Sony's PTZ camera. The interesting part is that the company's roadmap goes all all the way through 2026, which means that Sony plans to keep all of these cameras supported and relevant for at least another two years. It wouldn't necessarily come as a surprise that they would be supporting these cameras until you think about the fact that the oldest Sony Cine camera in this lineup is the Sony FX9, which was released five years ago in 2019, and the hugely popular Sony FX6 was released four years ago in 2020. Compare that to the launch of the FS7 in 2014, followed by the FS7 FS7 Mark II in 2017, and then the FX9, and Sony has been increasing the length of time between its flagship cinema camera updates, which means that we are potentially getting more out of these cameras, with firmware updates going into their fifth, sixth, and seventh iterations. But it also means that people looking to jump into newer hardware are being forced to wait, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. It's just not what people are generally used to. Now, it is telling that Sony did not include any updates for the Sony FX9 in its latest roadmap. Many people are speculating that a successor to the FX9, maybe an FX9 Mark II, could be just around the corner, as early as Q4 2024 or Q1 2025. But the news remains to be seen on whether or not that's the case. Personally, I do think it's likely that the FX9 is the first of Sony's cinema line of cameras to be replaced, but we will have to wait and see. In terms of what Sony has promised on its roadmap, let's take a look. The Sony FX3 camera, which got an update a few months ago, and the Sony FX30 will be getting new firmware updates in September 2025 version 7 for the FX3 and version 6 for the FX30, essentially putting these cameras on an annual firmware refresh program. The updates coming to these cameras are small but mighty, with the last update giving Sony shooters their most requested feature with the introduction of shutter angle. This new update will give the cameras an updated menu system like the Venice and Burano, anamorphic 1.5D squeeze, and HDMI raw output for Blackmagic recording devices. The FX6, which many people, including myself, were hoping that Sony would release a Mark II for in the coming months, will also get an updated menu system, which I think is more necessary on the FX6 than the FX3. The Burano, which is still a baby in terms of age, as it was released back in the spring of this year, I, I haven't even seen one in the wild yet, it's getting a big update with new recording formats, 1.8D squeeze, and monitoring improvements. Bigger updates are to be expected though on this camera since it's only firmware version 2. And finally, the big one, the Venice 2, is getting firmware version 4.0, which will add support for the EL Zone system and other creative monitoring tools. According to Sony, the Venice 2 will continue to receive updates well into 2027. So what is there to take away from all this? Well, for me, it's easy to see that Sony is trying to extend the lives of these cameras and will likely forego a physical refresh of at least the popular ones, like the FX30, FX3, and FX6, for the foreseeable future. It's interesting that Sony has done a better job recently at identifying what shooters really want out of these cameras. Features like anamorphic D-squeeze, for example, given the rise in popularity of budget anamorphic lenses, have now been prioritized as updates into these cameras. The thing is, they promise these updates, and then they push them out to almost a year away, or in some cases, multiple years away for desirable features. To me, I would assume the length of time between these updates could be viewed as a stalling tactic as they prepare for the eventual hardware refresh of these cameras down the road. Now I have no proof of that, it's just my assumption, but based on how Sony Cine has acted in the past, I know they can push these refreshes out faster, they're choosing not to. And while that will inevitably rub some Sony shooters the wrong way, it's good news that these cameras will continue to receive updates and stay relevant in the mainstream of digital cinema for the foreseeable future. 
If you were someone who invested in the Sony system and Sony glass early on, you're probably feeling pretty good right now. But that's it for me. What do you think about Sony Cine's release of this new roadmap updating their cinema cameras for the foreseeable future? Honestly, when I saw that some of the updates were being pushed into 2026 and beyond, I thought this is a new thing for Sony. They don't normally announce them this far in advance and it does bode well support wise knowing your camera will be supported for the foreseeable future. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you all very much and I'll see you in the next video.